Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I do have some health issues. I have an autoimmune disease. I don't really wanna like elaborate, but sometimes it really takes a toll on my body. So anyways, let's get into this unboxing of the Vampire Kit from SXC. You get your standard dual forms, double thick paper nail forms. You get some really beautiful rhinestones, two different glitters. You get your uh, standard hand file, which is 180 grit. And then you also get your standard uh, poly gel brush, which is oval number six. And this is my favorite uh, brush from all the brands. You get the brush on one end and the spatula on the other. And then you also get your top coat and base coat. So I am going to swatch these. I was kind of all over the place with the swatches. I'm so sorry. So, um, Anyways, I like show some of the tubes and I show some of the color in the camera, some I just don't, but I do show all at the end. First, we have Elisa Betta. Lucenda. Dracula. Drusilla. Victoria. And last, Ambrosia. So here are all the colors up close. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a sheen in them, which is really pretty, like a pearlescent sheen. And this is what they look like with the temperature change. I really loved this set. So we are just gonna get right into it. I do use the first two colors. Okay guys, so we are doing a stiletto dual form. You heard that right. I found these actually quite a while ago on Amazon and I've had them for forever. Um, they have like the number on that little round spot so you can find it a lot easier. They're just about as long as my nails are right now. So I'm just gonna size these up. You wanna make sure they go from sidewall to sidewall. The apex on these are a little bit high, which is I like so you can actually have an apex. So. Um, Anyways, I'm just gonna size these up real quick and then we'll get right into it. Okay guys, so I don't have a fake nail bed on this hand this time. I didn't make any fake nail beds because I'm trying off a new peel off base coat to see if it'll work on this hand. So um, I am going to explain though how to prepare your natural hand um, or rather your natural nail beds, excuse me. I have not done a voiceover in forever. I feel like a retard. So this is the base off coat that I'm trying out. It does say to cure it instead of letting it air dry. So we will see how that goes anyways. So to prep your natural nail beds, you're gonna take your cuticle pusher and push all of the cuticle back, all the dead skin or whatever on your nail pads back. If you have a hand file, e-file, whatever you can use to take off the dead skin, a cuticle cutter or some scissors. And then you're gonna take your nail dehydrator and then after that, your primer twice. After you let the first coat dry, you do the second one and let it dry and then your base coat. So I am going to also be using these little things I got in the mail today. They're Halloween um, like theme bats, spiders, pumpkins, whatever those are. So anyways, I am going to be taking my base coat and doing a thin layer and then curing that for 30 seconds and then we will get started. I am going to be using McCart's um, clear today so I can do my encapsulation of these Halloween confetti glitters. And also this is the slip solution that I use. It's my most favorite, so you don't wanna forget. I will link everything I can down below in the description box. So you're gonna go in with a thin layer of clear poly gel. And when you go in, you just wanna spread it out as thin as you can and make sure that it's not too thin so when you file, you won't file into your encapsulated confetti glitters, whatever you're encapsulating. 
And when you have it thinned and pushed all around inside of the dual form, you're gonna take your um, little confettis or glitters and push them in there. And then you're gonna flash cure that for two, three seconds, just to put a little bit of harden on there. So when you go in with the uh, temperature changing poly gel, whatever other color poly gel that you're using, it's not going to basically like move around or cover the confetti that you have. So anyways, that's what I'm doing here. So you just apply the color, spread it all around in the dual form. You want to make sure that you don't put too much at the tip because you will lose like, you know, seed curve will be too bulky. You'll have to like file that down. So you just want to make sure you pull most of the poly gel to the base of the dual form. And when you apply, you don't have to put too much pressure. You just need to put a little bit to where your nail pad is flush with the dual form and poly gel. And you clean up any of the sides that, you know, are sploozing out around, anything like that. And then you wanna cure this for 120 seconds. And after I cure this for 120 seconds, I flip it over and I cure the underside for 30 seconds. So with dual forms, you always have a risk of after the cure, when you pop off, you might have a little line at the bottom, especially with these hands, these practice hands, because the cuticle line and smile line is really wonky. So I could not stand how that little part came out right there. So I took my e-file really quick and I like filed it down just because it was personally bothering me. And I just wanted to see how it would look if I filed it down real quick so I could show you guys. Um, it's real easy to fix. So anyways, we're just going to continue doing that with each of these dual forms, clear layer, confetti glitter, cure for a few seconds, and then add the color, and then you're going to apply the form to the nail pad and then cure that for 120 seconds and then flip it over and cure the underside for 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna hush up and let you watch me do this. I actually just want to pop up and give a shout out to SXC Cosmetics. They did uh, sponsor this video. They did reimburse me for this kit. So I just wanted to give them a huge shout out because they are my favorite brand. They have the best kits with literally like everything you need from, you know, the poly gel colors are amazing. They give you glitters. They give you stones. They give you just everything you basically need to get started, even the lamp. So. Anyways, I'm just going to hush up again and let you guys watch me work. So right here, I actually forgot to flash cure my nail. So you can actually see what happens in this one when you don't flash cure your um, confetti in there. It did kind of cover one of the pumpkins. So anyways, sorry guys. Okay guys, so for the ring finger, I'm actually going to add a little bit of glitter to my encapsulation. So you're just gonna do the same thing. After you apply your confetti glitter, you're gonna take the glittery glitter and just dab it into the poly gel and flash cure that. And then add your color.
So we're almost done with the last one. I just wanted to pop in and say I do leave my hand filing on camera this time. I know it's not the best, but um, anyways, yeah. So I do show how to shape up with your just your hand file. And then I do apply the rhinestones and everything. And I show both looks either matte or glossy. So anyways, I'm just going to let you guys watch me file and pop back up here in a few. I just really wanted to show all the beginners that it actually is really easy to fix all those little mess ups with your hand file. You really don't need an e-file, especially when you're doing dual forms. So anyways, um, yeah, it's really easy just to fix up and shape up the nails, you guys. So don't ever be discouraged with that, not having an e-file or anything like that. It might take a little bit longer, but honestly, I prefer a hand file. I have more control. Um, I feel like I hurt myself less. I don't feel like I'm that confident with an e-file. I am to an extent to like remove my like poly gel and stuff like that, but you know, you're not really trying to like keep a shape, you're removing it. So anyways, I'm just gonna hush up again and let you guys watch me work. So after you guys are done filing down, you make sure you take your buffer and buffer out any scratches. I have tried like 30 different types of buffers and I still can't find one that takes all the scratches out completely, even with a fine grit sanding band. So I just got some Melody Susie sanding bands in today. So, or nail bits or drill bits, whatever you want to call them today in the mail. So I will be trying those out on my next set. So anyways, I am going to be applying the rhinestones. So I went matte this time. So I tried the same method the way I usually do with the nail glue. And then I float over a top layer of matte coat instead of top coat. I've never done it this way. I wanted to see if it would just work the same way, if the matte would come out matte like it should. Um, it did, but there were a few spots that kind of looked shiny through the matte. So I went over it with Beetles matte polish top coat, excuse me, matte top coat from Beetles because they're my favorite. Anyways, so I'm just going to let you guys watch me do this and I'll pop back up in a few.
And if you ever wonder where I get my stones from, these black ones are AB stones that I get from Amazon and the other ones are actually Swarovski crystals. And I buy those from Hobby Lobby and they're really expensive. And these ones are called Aurora Borealis. By the way, my daughter's name is Aurora and she's named after Aurora Borealis. Anyway, um, they're my favorite. So I thought they went really pretty with this. Anywho, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna hush up again and uh, I'll pop back up in a few. So for the ring finger, I did not do matte top coat. I just did a regular shiny top coat because I always like to have an accent finger a little different or something. So anyways, I do do both looks though, all the way shiny as well. So I'll just hush up again and let you watch me finish. Remember guys to always swipe your sidewalls before you cure and I do cure each of these nails after I apply the rhinestones for 120 seconds just to remind you guys. So I'm just gonna add some cuticle oil to these cuticles. They're super jacked up and they need it. So anyways, here we are. I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I know it's been a while. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Until next time. Bye guys.